please welcome the most best dressed couple of all time. We've got Michael Pinball Clemens and his beautiful wife Diane for a motivational Monday. How are you two? We are excellent, Dina. You look amazing. Yes. She's the one that looks great. I just share her shine. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Basking in the rays. Yes. We, now, yes. in, if you want to go check my Twitter account, uh, I was sh uh, shooting some video as you met Odin yes. for the first time, and there was an inspirational story. And herein is why we want you in because. We find these stories and we latch onto them because there's so few of them, it seems. Mm -hmm. So we want to talk about being inspirational, and something like that is definitely inspirational. And no question about it. And, and what a lovely young man, too. When you get a chance to meet him and know him, and uh, it's one of those things that, that uh, if you look for the best in people, you'll find the best in people, right? You look for the worst in people, you'll find the worst in people. And if we make a habit, and, 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 and that is not sort of any sort of comment on on any one person but as we grow as we mature we when we look to find the best in people uh we actually find the best in ourselves and that's what we saw when we went out to social media right what, what, what an incredible story and the way he's able to articulate it i thought was just amazing mm -hmm. and if, sorry go it would be amazing if we all for every child that was bullied if we could rally around every kid that was bullied that way the mm -hmm. world would just be a much better place strengthen yeah. the community because yeah. as you said kev this story is all too common, but the fact that it actually, you know, gets light shining on it mm -hmm. and we turn Absolutely. it into something good and strength is the rare thing. And you started the anti-bullying yes. campaign many moons ago, right? Talk to us about that. So we, we did with the uh, Toronto Argonauts. We have a, a, a bullying program that is still very successful. It's won national awards. And, and, uh, but that's, that's not the important part of, of it. The, this story is, Frankie would be happy, it's fertilizer, right? Yeah. It, it, it's, it's fertilizer for conversation because um, this was Odin, yeah, just a, what, a, what a beautiful young He's man, right? Yeah. Uh, but but um, in, in saying that, the kids there, we, I went to, Bear, um, to, to Peterborough. You, you have me saying Barry now. Yeah. <laughs> so so I, I went to Peterborough uh, last uh, year for a, a program they did with, uh, um, it was a suicide prevention program, and they rallied around a, a young man who had played on the football team, had, you know, had committed suicide, and, and what a tragic story that was. And this was a young man who looked like he had it all. He was the star of the football team, I believe the captain of the team. And, and, and so in Peterborough, th this is not a statement on Peterborough. This is just a statement of what happens. And, and then there, there's a, there's a group of kids there who are going to go to school today who didn't go to the birthday party who who now are going to have this this great learning experience um, uh, and, and who are going to be battling a bit themselves but but these are not bad kids it's just kids who don't understand and so this is fertilizer it gives us a chance to talk about it to have the conversation and that's what any kind of anti-bullying program is about is really having the conversation begin to educate people so that they can have a better are understanding because we know the the playing field in professional sports is Especially for football, there's a lot of testosterone. Were either of you ever bullied? I was bullied I uh, in elementary school. And I, too, I would go home after school. It was this one girl, and she bullied me. She would take my money every single day. She would follow me to school. Just She would just kind of punch wow. me, just punch oh me. God. And on the way back, same thing. I would try to leave school early to go home so I would miss her. She would always run and catch me every single time. I would go home terrified, just terrified. Mm -hmm. And this happened for years. Years I would not face her. And finally my sister said something to me. She said, until you face her, she's never going to leave you alone. Mm -hmm. So you have to man up and just tell her she has to stop and, bullying you. And what happened? And I did, and you know what? She backed down. Yeah. Like she, Always she stood there, and she looked at me like, mm. like, what do you mean? Like she was in shock that I actually said something back to her. But I was terrified of this girl for years, just terrified. I wouldn't go outside and play because she lived in my neighborhood. Okay. I wouldn't go outside and play. Some days I'd stay in the house because I knew she'd be out there, and I didn't want to have to deal with you it. Felt alone but and tormented, absolutely. and it takes so much courage to absolutely. be able to change that relationship yeah. and stand up. Yeah. Give yourself a plug. Uh, tell people how they can get in touch with it, the website, the uh, Twitter account. Uh, at the MPCF, that's the foundation. The and, Mike Pinball Clemens uh, Mike, Mike Foundation. Pinball yep. foundation and, but, but we really just, just wanted to come on and, and, and just celebrate Odin and, and yes. celebrate let's life. Do and, that, let, let's do it again. Let's do it again. One week today. We'll do it again. There's something to be said, really? there's something to be said about, about 
a positive start in the morning yes. every day is, is what you really need to because that's where you lay your, your foundation for that's the day. Right. So that's we can right. give an inspirational message today, maybe. So can I, can I give a quickie? Yeah. Give a quickie, All real right. quick. So, so John Lennon, when he was yeah. a young guy, he, he said his mom at five years old told him that the key to happiness or key to life was happiness, to be happy. So he went to school and the, and, uh, the teacher said, uh, what do you want to be when you grow up? He says, happy. <laughs> the teacher says, I don't think you understand the assignment. He said, I don't think you understand life. Wow. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so many wonderful things from Mr. Lennon. Oh, Diane, thank you so much. It always is an inspirational. I feel, I feel good now. We can yeah. take on the world. <laughs> Woo! We're going to take a break. We'll be right back and uh, head out to Live Eye one more time. Yes. Thank you for sharing that.